up here is ridiculous. Arnold, don't you ever get misty-eyed for our old home? <laughs> yeah, from all this dust. <laughs> Arnold. Well, this, this isn't our old home. This is just a shell, a wreck. Arnold, this is where we grew up. They're knocking down our building. They're knocking down our roots. If our roots don't knock us down first. <laughs> Aren't you gonna give me a kiss? I'm sorry. With all this talk about sex, I forgot all about kissing. <laughs> Dad thought you might like some milk with those cookies. Thanks, Arnold. <laughs> Tomorrow night, 7.30. I'll drink to the hat. Till then. See you later. Bye. Good night, Arnold. Night, Charlene. Willis, what's that about 7.30 tomorrow? Oh. <laughs> Arnold, I need your help to get everyone out of the house for me tomorrow night so me and Charlene can be alone. We have a very important homework to do. Homework? Who are you jiving? You're not talking to a kid. I wasn't born yesterday. I just looked like I was. <laughs> I know why you want to be alone with Charlene. You do? Yeah. So you can do some heavy breathing on each other like in that crummy movie. <laughs> Let me run my tresses through your fingers. <laughs> yeah, right, Arnold. Yeah, all we're gonna do is a little hand-holding and a little kissing. But will you help me get everyone out the house for me? Sure. For you and five bucks. <laughs> when did you start feeling ill, Willis? Just a little while ago. Mm -hmm. Willis, you look terrible, horrible. In fact, really repulsive. <laughs> you ought to stay home. Well, sure, if you don't feel well. Yeah, it would be a good idea if I didn't go. Yeah, and get right to bed. That's what I had in mind. <laughs> hey, Willis, maybe I should stay home with you. Oh, no, Dad. I, I, I mean, um, you should go to that health club. You need it, right, Arnold? Yeah, right. Uh, you gotta exercise for your heart. Or else one morning you'll wake up and you're dead. <laughs> I mean, that's, that's it. Kaput, finito, over and out. <laughs> Ten four, good buddy. Thanks for explaining that, Arnold. I feel much better now. <laughs> well, let's go if we're going. Yeah, you go ahead, Dad. I'll be fine, really. Okay, let's get our coats. Uh, what movie are you gonna go and see? I think it's Dracula Goes to College. <laughs> No, 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 Arnold. I'm sorry, but tonight it's my choice, and we're going to go see Harvest of Love. <laughs> Bye, Willis. Willis, if you need me, call me at the club. OK, Dad. D did you hear that, Willis? Harvest of Love? Forget the five bucks. I'm charging you ten. <laughs> Has the defense attorney got anything to say on behalf of Arnold's butt? <laughs> Your Honor, my client is innocent. Amen! Yeah. Tell the not guilty. Set me free. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The judge has reached a decision. Much as I hate you, Arnold, I find you guilty. And Mr. Drummond's punishment stands. No skateboard contest for you. What? I'm not guilty! No. Arnold, you had a fair trial. Oh, no, he didn't, Mr. Drummond. Why wasn't this trial fair? Because Arnold didn't do it. I got a witness to prove he didn't do it. Oh, another moth? No, <laughs> me. Oh, you saw somebody else do it. That's right. I saw me do it. I put Abraham beside the hot tub. What? You oh, did that? Oh, for goodness sake. Well, I don't no. understand. Willis, you're not just saying this to protect Arnold. Oh, I'll let him say it. I need all the protection I can get. <laughs> it's the truth, Mr. Drummond. I did it on purpose because I wanted to prove something. And I proved it. Proved what, Willis? I proved that not everybody gets a fair trial just because it says so in that book. You know, my client was innocent, but your justice made him guilty. You're absolutely right, Willis. Arnold is innocent, and you deserve a lot of credit for trying to prove your point. You know, Willis, you make one great mouthpiece. <laughs> Except, Willis, you withheld an important piece of evidence. Now, if this was a real trial, you'd be guilty of breaking the law. You framed your brother. Give me back my compliment. <laughs> but you had a good motive, young man. But I'm sorry I framed you, Arnold. 
Oh, that's all right, dumb head. <laughs> like a sardine. <laughs> well, this my shirt a great time at that festival yesterday. You should have been there. You're telling me. <laughs> I was dreaming about the part in Raiders when they found Harrison Ford hanging in with a pit of poisonous snakes. Don't give me any ideas. <laughs> Aloha, little brother. <laughs> hey, Willis. I'm in Joey. <laughs> Here's a plan for today. First, we go on a pony ride through the park, and then we grab a couple of hot dogs and meet some of the other big brothers for a game of touch football. Oh, and I got good news for you, too, Arnold. Yeah? You get to stay home and sleep in. What you talking about, Willis? <laughs> See, Arnold, the whole idea of big brothers is one-on-one. -on -one. You understand? Sure. If anybody cares, I'm gonna brush my teeth. That is, if there's any of my toothpaste left. Hold it, little brother. Let Joey go first. We're in a hurry. See you downstairs in five minutes. You bet, Willis. Bye. Man, guy can't even get in his own bathroom anymore. <laughs> That's one nice thing about being a goldfish, Abraham. One bowl, no waiting. <laughs> but she soon came to realize that I loved her as much as I always had. We all love you as much as we ever did. As far as we're concerned, there'll never be another one like you. Honest? Honest. Hey, you guys are. Man, Dad, I didn't think you were gonna check the schoolyard. Arnold, you had me worried about you. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm, I'm fine. I just want you to know that I'm not upset anymore about you being insensitive and ignoring my feelings. Yeah. Don't worry, you always know you'll be my number one little bro. Well, let's split, Dad. Split? I already did that when I came over the fence. Sorry I haven't paid more attention to you, Arnold, but I will from now on. And I'll give you every chance. <laughs> May I come in, guys? Sure. Yep. Uh-oh. What's the matter, Arnold? That looks like a bad news bottle. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is just a little medicine the doctor prescribed to help your, uh, you know, your situation. My situation is doing all fine by itself. Now, come on, Arnold, it's not all that bad. I don't need any medicine. <laughs> Arnold, the doctor knows best. Mm-mm. <laughs> Arnold, did you know the circus is coming to town? Yeah! <laughs> Dirty. No, I'm just a parent with great timing. Now, Willis. I ain't taking any of that stuff. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm putting you in charge. Oh. <clears throat> Arnold has to take another spoon now. I'd be glad to take the spoon as long as there's nothing in it. <laughs> and you see that he gets two spoonfuls every two hours till bedtime. You gotta be kidding! <laughs> I'll see that he gets it one way or another. Right. <laughs> now, do you want to take it or get it shoved in? Neither. <laughs> Neither nothing. I don't want to wait. What done? Wait. <laughs> Got you. Now, open the garage and we'll drive the car in. Oh, no. <laughs> wait, come here. That's good for you. Hey, oh, hi. I got you now, boy. Come on, open that mouth up. <laughs> yes, you do. Bed. You wet the bed? <laughs> yes and no. What do you mean, yes and no? They think I wet the bed because it was wet. Well, a wet bed will give somebody that idea. <laughs> I did it with a glass of water. I was pulling a trick just to get some attention around here. Is that the truth? If I'm lying, may I never sleep in a dry bed again? <laughs> Did all that just to get some attention? Yeah, it worked great, didn't it? Arnold. Guess you think I'm a rotten kid now, huh? 
Yeah. No! <laughs> You're not riding on him. You don't have to take this old medicine. I don't? No. Well, let's, let me tell you something. Hmm? We both got the greatest brothers in the world. I agree. <laughs> Quit stalling, Arnold. Why have you been cutting school? Well, I can't tell you. I'm afraid. Arnold, honey, does it have something to do with those two bullies who have been threatening you at your school? Well, I can't tell you, but you're getting warm. <laughs> Arnold, you have nothing to be afraid of. Now, come on. What happened? Well, those two guys came back today. Not only did me and Dudley have to bring them sandwiches, but now we have to pay them two bucks a day for eating them. Those creeps. And they said if we don't pay them, they'll turn us into human Rubik's cubes. Gee, <laughs> you just wait till Dad hears about this. Well, Dad's not gonna hear about it. I'm gonna handle this. Dad did it his way and it didn't work. Now I'm gonna do it my way. What do you mean, Willis? Arnold's going back to school tomorrow. Oh, no, I'm not. Yes, you are. Arnold, you can't keep running from trouble. Well, I'll run and you can go to school for me. <laughs> That's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna be at your school at lunchtime, and if those clowns show up again, I'm gonna have a few words with them. But, Willis, there's two of them and only one of you. They're gonna use your skull for a bongo drum. Oh, you're pretty brave, amigo. What you been smoking? <laughs> smoking can kill you, and so can my brother, and you better beat it before he gets here. So that's it, huh? You got a brother. That's right. He's tough, he's mean, and he's got fists of steel. <laughs> sure, sure. And he's got a black belt in karate, right? Not anymore. Now it's red from all his victim's blood. <laughs> Arnold, you got a brother besides Willis? <laughs> Listen, little shrimps. Oh, you call it shrimp, chop. Oh, this must be Bruce Lee. Lay out my brother and his friend and beat it. What if we don't feel like it? And you got a problem on your hands. I think you're the one with the problem, man. <laughs> Dad, I did it. I got the job. I'll start tomorrow. Oh, hey, that's congratulations. Great. That's great. Hey. I can't believe it. Can't believe Willis got the job? I can't believe what happened to me. Well, what happened? Oh, it was nothing, Dad. Nothing? Dad, they were hoisting a piano up to the third floor of a building, and the cable broke, and the piano fell down. It was falling right on me. Good Lord, Arnold, that is awful. If Willis hadn't have pushed me out of the way, there'd been an extra black key on that piano. <laughs> Willis, I'm proud of you. Well, I'll only be getting minimum, but I'll have that thousand in about two years. No, I mean, I'm proud of you for saving Arnold's life. Oh, yeah, that too. <laughs> Willis, man, how can I ever repay you? If it wasn't for you, I'd be done for. Kaput, finito. I'm talking guest corpse on Quincy. <laughs> yeah, no, no. no way, I've got to repay you. Anything you want, name it, and I'll do it. I'll even do it before you name it. <laughs> oh, you heard Willis. He doesn't expect anything in return. Just like a hero. Willis, I'm your servant for life. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry to bother you, Arnold. But um, I thought maybe I'd give you one more chance to say goodbye or even tell me you're gonna miss me. Now, why would I want to do something like that? <laughs> Just a feeling. Or maybe you had something else to say. Hey, give me that back. Uh, 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 not so quick. Give... Hey, the way you've been acting, I'm kind of curious. <laughs> <laughs> Sit down. Dear Willis, when you were accepted at Ashton, I thought something was totally crazy. I said to myself, there's no way Willis should be going to college. 
That's a nice way to say goodbye. You're the one who wanted to read it. It's not that I didn't think you were smart enough. That's better. It's just that I thought by the time you were ready to move out, I'd be big enough to handle it. You see, you always taught me about growing up, protecting me, and gave me advice about girls. And once it even worked. <laughs> But the most important thing was, well, you see, Willis, after Mama and Papa died, there was nobody but you who could remind me who I was. No matter how fat my handsome little head got, <laughs> you were always there to remind me where I came from and that I should always be proud to be a Jackson. Now, don't get me wrong, Willis. I'm really happy you're going out and spreading the Jackson charm on the rest of the world. I just wish there was some way you could go away and still be here, too. I love you, Arnold. Wow. Hey, that was pretty deep, Arnold. Yeah, yeah. 